coming into this debate, all eyes were on center stage. The front runner, former Vice President Joe Biden and Senator Kamala Harris of California, and whether the two would have a rematch of their clash in Miami last month. Biden came in with more energy, his aide said, and more prepared with lines of attack against Harris and the other person standing center stage with him, Senator Cory Bucker. But in the end, Biden ended up taking fire from just about everyone on the stage. Diversity on full display as candidates take the stage. The opposite of Donald Trump is an Asian man who likes masks. <laughs> Former Vice well, President Joe Biden, Biden standing Biden front and center and feeling the heat. People. You want to be president of the United States. You need to be able to answer the tough questions. Especially from Senator Kamala Harris, with whom he clashed in the first debate. Go the army, kid. Right off the bat, Harris and Biden sparred on health care. The senators had several plans so far. You can't beat President Trump with double talk on this plan. Unfortunately, Vice President Biden, you're just simply inaccurate. For a Democrat to be running for president with a plan that does not cover everyone, I think is without excuse. Senator Cory Booker deflecting Biden's attack oh, on his criminal justice record. You're dipping into the Kool-Aid and you don't even know the flavor. And Representative Tulsi Gabbard setting her sights on Harris. You were in a position to make a difference and an impact in these people's lives. You did not. Democrats also debated issues like climate change. Too little, too late is too dangerous. And we have to have a bold plan, and mine has been called the gold standard. Racial injustice. It looks like one of us has learned the lessons of the past, and one of us hasn't. I find it fascinating. Everybody's talking about how terrible I am on these issues. Barack Obama knew exactly who I was. And immigration. Kids belong in classrooms, not cages. As those in the back of the pack tried to make memorable moments that may boost their poll numbers and keep their campaigns afloat. The first thing that I'm going to do when I'm president is I'm going to Clorox the Oval Office. And those lesser known candidates, they have a higher threshold to meet if they want to be on the debate stage again for entry into the next round of debates in Houston in September. These candidates need to be polling at at least 2% in four national or early state polls that are approved by the DNC and also have at least 130,000 unique donors in 20 different states. In Detroit, I'm Karen Kafa.